Good morning, everyone. Hope your day is going well. I just wanted to share with you rather quickly a report that I pull uh, before I go into a dealership to generate questions to talking points where I can assist the dealership in moving preferred owner forward. I always ask for the facilitator that I'm working with to get a sign on, have the dealership assign them a sign on to view their reports and their dashboard. Uh, this way I can go in prior to the meeting and I can pull their information and see where they're utilizing the program, areas of opportunity. In this particular case I then go into reports. One of the reports that I really like to use is the accounts export report. And what I do is I want to see what they've done in the program for the entire time. So I go in to the year, I change it to 2009. Then I go into January, and then you click on the first day of the month. It automatically populates in the last active date. So I want to look at everything from the beginning of when the program was used, when they enrolled, to what they're currently doing. Then you run the report. What it does is it brings you up into an Excel spreadsheet and it just kind of dabbles it in. So what I want to do is I want to make it legible for me. And what I do is I highlight the first line. I go into Format, Cells, click Alignment, and then I just wrap the text. And what that does is it then just makes it into manageable categories. I then widen it up so it's, it looks like a nice report. Now, one thing you can do, such as this case, I know that there's a lot of information in here. The line that you see when you hit the hatch marks, you can just double click on that and it'll take it to its widest point. So once the report is up, what I'm specifically looking for is questions. How are they best, how are they utilizing the program? Where are they utilizing the program? In this particular dealership, they've sold three new cars from using uh, their points, and they've sold one used car. They are using it, they've used it some in the body shop. They don't use it for goodwill and service. They use it in service, and they do have points plus. So what I'm then go back and look, okay, goodwill. This is a great talking point. This is a money saver for the dealership. Having uh, the advisors, instead of issuing goodwill on the uh, straight on the ROs, have them put it on the preferred owner card. This way, it the customer has to come back to utilize the points. On top of that, gives them another opportunity at that customer to save that person as a customer. In this particular case, the dealership is not using goodwill at all, either in sales or in service. So this will be one of the talking points that I will discuss with the dealership. I'll also look, possibly the body shop. Is this something that we can advertise to some of their customers? Would this be another way to utilize those individuals that are on that they have on the preferred owner program and can we get some of those customers back into their body shop generate some business for the body shop also they are on points plus but it doesn't look like they're really using it their customers possibly aren't aware of it so this would be another talking point the advantage to the dealership is going into points plus how can we get our, our customers to use points plus which definitely say you know generates loyalty, but uh, brings those customers coming back and then they're using other retailers' dollars as opposed to the dealership dollars. So I use this report to help generate um, questions, areas, and look for opportunities for the dealership.